<clears throat> hello, hello. Is Mike working? Yes. Alrighty, hello, kids. I am back. I ate food. <clears throat> you can you can hear that I ate food. <laughs> um, I took a rice cake, put avocado on it. I put ham. Well, no, avocado, everything bagel seasoning, and Himalayan pink salt. Ham. I took another rice cake. Avocado, same seasoning. Sandwich. <laughs> he was very tall. <laughs> but, so far out of the ways that I've tried to eat this avocado that I bought, this has been the one that I tolerated the most, and I was able to eat the whole little cup of avocado. So... We're finding ways to get through it. Um, by the way, the reason I have to be eating avocado is because I need the um, the healthy fats from it because my diet doesn't have enough. Um, and then I ate some cheesecake that I made. And then I drank a Yoohoo. I was going to drink a protein shake, but none of them were in the fridge because I forgot. So I drank a Yoohoo. So here we are. <laughs> is my stomach happy about it? No. Did I nourish my body? Yes. So. Not bad, not bad. Um, I also have strawberry stuff left over that goes on the cheesecake that I forgot to put on the cheesecake after, and I didn't put it on until I ate half the cheesecake, so I have half the package of that stuff left. Anyways, that was a long-winded sentence. Um, I'm excited because I have, like, half of the bag of the strawberry stuff that comes with it. I make the jello cheesecake thing. <clears throat> So I'm going to make protein pancakes in the morning. I bought this protein pancake mix from Aldi. It's bomb. It tastes like normal pancakes. When you mix it up, it makes it seem like it's going to be weird and chunky and powdery and not good. But it actually is good. And it's not actually that texture once you cook it. Um, like at all. You literally cannot tell that you're eating protein pancakes. Normally it's like chalky. It's gritty. Like you can tell it's in there. You can't at all. So I'm going to make that and then put that strawberry crap on top. That's gonna be bomb. Got the heartburn though. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try to get back to studying. I'm not feeling it. I was hardcore procrastinating. Like, I was watching a YouTube video. I'm having so much trouble getting myself to do this, and my boyfriend's busy. And that's normally like when I'm like this. The only thing that counts as the freaking motivator is talking to him <clears throat> while I do school. And I don't have that right now. And it's driving me a little bit nannies. The frick did my cat just do? Oh my god, she's climbing in my garbage can. Hold on. Jade. Hey! Get out of there! Kids! What are you doing? Ma'am? I'm back. So I asked my mom to feed her while I was at work twice. Like to feed her two times. Um, she's having trouble. I gotta talk to her vet. Um, after she got her distemper and stuff done, she's just been coughing a lot more. But he said it's probably because it's winter and she's shedding really bad. But like, she's never done this before. Um, but she also ate a feather off of one of her toys around the same time as this, so we don't know what's causing this at all. Um, and so she hasn't- she only spit up her food once. But, she's been coughing a lot. And she's not a cat that gets hairballs at all. Um, I think in the three years that I've had her, she's only had two. So, yeah. We've been just feeding her exact amounts of food so I can tell if she gets sick how much- she ate and when she got sick, you know what I mean? Um, instead of letting her free-range eat. Which is something we used to be able to do with her, but right now we can't. Um, she has self-control, but 
with this going on, I'm trying to be careful with it. Um, anyways, I asked my mom to feed her twice, and my mom was like, well, she never really ate what you gave her this morning. I was like, lit. Um, that meant that she probably was napping upstairs all morning. Or my whole shift, anyways, which is very normal for her. She's always done that. Um, so, she did eat it, finally. And then Anarchy Cat, instead of telling me that she's hungry, normally you guys see her do it on stream, she'll come by my chair and meow, and th that means she's hungry. No, she just decided, I'm just gonna, I smell the container from one of my foods, I'm gonna flip the garbage can. So now I have her scratching post pinning my door to block the garbage can, because it's behind my door. Um, so that she doesn't eat it. Brat. Anyways. She's trying to figure out how to move it, even though she just ate a whole bowl of food that I just gave her. People are speaking to me. I saw we. <clears throat> oh my god also somebody um so at my work we have like one of those old tvs that used to display like photography stuff i guess like one of the old box tvs and i don't know if somebody bumped it or like a kid turned it on but you know how when they're on, not when they have the static, but, like, it'll say, like, video in the corner or something, and it just kind of has, like, that ringing sound. Well, it was doing that my whole, almost my whole shift, and I didn't re we could not figure out what was doing it just because that TV was on. Um, and so now my ears just keep doing it. Because <laughs> they ain't used to that anymore. I had those kind of TVs all the way up until I m moved here. And then some, I don't think we actually had a flat screen TV until I was like 10. I'm 18. Um, so like, I'm used to that sound, or I was, I'm not anymore. <laughs> so like, now my ear keeps ringing and it's bugging me. I think he'll be able to call me <clears throat> in a minute. He might be going to bed early, though. We'll see. He has to get up at 5 for PT, so... It would be cool, though, if he calls me. I will literally just let him talk while we're on stream, because, uh, to be fair, not a lot of people are hopping on anyways. Right? Yeah. I think that's fine. The audio might not be great, but at least I'm not by myself. That might help me focus. I'm just getting really tired, and I still have to actually sit and take the exam. Be able to d define the term video game? Bro, what definition do you want me to give for a video game? Okay, well, bro, is there's a space here. Do you game or computer game is an electronic game that involves interaction with a user interface input device such as joystick and controller, keyboard, or motion sensor device to generate feedback. Oh. That's a very fancy way to put it. Holy crap, y'all, am I getting tired? I napped for an hour-ish. Say ish because it was a little over, but that doesn't mean jack. Um 
Home girl is tired. Oh, I didn't put my glasses back on. I need coffee. I'm not allowed to have coffee. Discussed in the lecture. Frick, I have another one to pull up. What was the significance of the game Space War? I don't know, you tell me. I literally read all of this and it's really upsetting me that I don't remember anything that I read. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep, like, right now. Like, I literally feel like I'm just like... Z. Z, 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 Z. You know? Yo, they, there's a Quizlet for the questions, but nobody put the answers. Oh, I found a friggin' Quizlet for everything. Okay, I just got the answer for this one from somebody that watched the lectures that I watched. Um, they they also don't have the question this answer though. The yellow one. There we Holy crap, I'm getting tired. I can just, I can just, I can just, f oops, I'm sorry, that's totally reading it. Oh no, it's not, it's muted, never mind. I can just, I can just feel it. <laughs> sorry, I have like a mosquito bite right here and it's driving me nuts.
Oh my gosh, now that I realize that it's here, it's bugging me so bad. Ugh. I really hope my teacher gives me the extension. Like, I really hope so. Otherwise, this is gonna be a mess. Because I can't freaking focus. I feel bad because I've been asking for extensions so often, but I didn't ask for any last week. So, I guess not. I don't know. It is fitting, though, that I'm doing the questions about gaming on a gaming channel, right? You know, for fun, I wa I've always wanted to, like, start, like, a YouTube channel or something that I gamed on, but then I realized that the editing was way too much for my brain to handle, and I would not be able to keep up with it. Um, like, I don't know how people do it. Never thought that I would be here, an affiliate on Twitch streaming. Are video games mostly an activity of people who identify as male? No. 42% are women. So I guess technically mostly no, but like there's slightly more men. I love how there's still the argument of like women aren't real gamers, blah blah blah. But 42% of gamers are women. You mans are just toxic sometimes. What has been the impact of convergence in the gaming world? That's a really good question. God, this person puts so much effort into their answers. I really appreciate you. You are making my brain be able to function. <laughs> It's highlighting funny again. There we go. Oh, I should be charging my phone right now. It's about to die and I'm not trying to see if my boyfriend will video call me. That's not very smart. Lamau, and I thought I'd have time to do stuff with my Pokemon cards too tonight. <laughs> um, they're currently... My charger break again as I swore to Jesus Christ. There we go. Um, my one charger, which is this one, is kind of jank. It only slow charges. My iPad charger is the one I've been using on my phone lately. Um, but that one is. I don't know where that one is. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Poop. gonna say something it's gone <laughs> oh also the freaking new animal crossing update came out today well the, the free part and then the dlc comes out tomorrow but because i didn't get my freaking back pay from ross when i was supposed to i can't get the dlc and i'm so upset because, like, in my head, I was like, oh, my money put away for the DLC is that, because it's $30 is what I'm owed? Yeah, no, so I'm thinking on calling HR, because everybody that I've talked to says, like, oh, yeah, no, good luck trying to get your um, money, because if it just went to HR, it's going to take months to a year to get the money. I was like, are you freaking serious? For thirty dollars, like I'm relying on that money, and um, my mom just gave me money to buy clothes for my new job, so she can't help me out right now. Um, my um, 
boyfriend is trying to save up money in hopes that he can come here for Thanksgiving. So I can't borrow it from him either. And I don't get paid from my current job until um, the 12th. And I have no idea how much I'm making or anything. I have not been able to figure it out. I don't know what days I've worked is on what check, so it's going to be a little check, I know that. Because I was supposed to work more days, and then I had to call off one because of POTS, and then I'm supposed to work this Saturday, but I already talked about that. So... <laughs> Also, if you guys are wondering why I don't just use the Quizlet and instead of me making my own document like this, when I'm pasting the stuff over, I'm reading it as I do it, and so that's like the, the, the studying for me. Um, it's like the equivalent for me anyways of like when you sit and write down what your teacher's saying and stuff and then you kind of like want to redo your notes almost in a way to study because it's rehearsing the information this works the same for my brain for some reason even though i'm copy and pasting and not writing it out myself um this also allows me to have these notes in the exact format i need them for finals so oh we finished the section Woo. Ooh. Two more to go, and I think this Quizlet has every section on it, doesn't it? It sure seems like it. That's kind of lit. Why didn't this one show up the first time? I'm not sure. Oops, I did this funny. Oh, the allergies, man. He said his friend was leaving and he hasn't answered me anymore. I'm realizing that these streams make me seem like I'm such a clingy person. And that I'm very outwardly clingy and, like, almost controlling of my partner. And, like, I promise you I'm not. I express my clinginess by just saying the things that I do, but I don't actually, like, annoy the shit out of him, just, like, texting him over and over, like, babe, what are you doing? Why aren't you answering? Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that's just not okay. He has his own life, too. Especially because of our long distance. Like, he incredibly has his own life right now. thought I would say the disclaimer. I mean, am I a clingy person? Oh, absolutely, freaking lutely But I'm not, like... If he tells me right out, babe, like, I'm kind of, like, touched out right now, or I'm kind of overstimulated today, um, just got off of work, do you think we can call in a little bit instead of right away, like we normally do? I'll be like, oh yeah, baby, 100%. And then I leave him alone until he texts me. Or, you know, if it's been a, a long time, um, I'll text him and check in and ask to be sure if he's okay. If he needs anything, you know, healthy communication. As you should. In a relationship. If you don't have healthy communication, what are you doing with your time? Because you're wasting it. Just saying. Oh, I was about to say, what does this have to do with gaming? I forgot we're in a different section now. I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, Benjamin Day? I thought I read about him already. 
in a different section. Oh, this is two questions. We shall separate you. Because that's confusing. Oh, also, speaking of what the T I was telling you guys about Ross earlier, I was looking up Ross's lawsuits that they already have against them and to see just, like, would I have a chance if I actually tried to do something about this? Um, They have several cases with... um. What's their, what are they called? OSHA or whatever? The freaking, um, safety bureau place? They have several violations. And it's a lot of what happened to me was one of those violations. Also a discrimination violation happened while I was there and they did nothing about it. Um, I was told by one of the employees that I couldn't have the promotion because I'm disabled. And when I voiced that to them, they were like, they just like shrugged it off and looked at me funny and they're like, that was it. Um. So, you know. Yeah, their company's a freaking mess, honestly. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool store, it's a cool place to work at if you are lucky and have a good district manager. Um, buying clothes from there is really awesome, it's affordable, you get nice stuff most of the time. Um, only thing is like, if you're shopping at a store that's understaffed your clothes that you're buying might have been sitting in boxes for several weeks or months in the stock room and that's not really ideal because the stock rooms are not clean um our stock rooms do not like if you've ever accidentally seen like with the door open in like a walmart stock room how everything's on shelves and stuff and it's super duper fancy organized Raw stock room is not that because we don't actually keep stock in our stock room. Um, as it comes in, it needs to be out and onto the sales floor same day is how they try to function. So if we have an event where we have carryover, it's just on the floor. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's other stock rooms that have space to put it on shelves. We did not. You did it again. Two separate questions, my good sir. And that confuses my little brain. Okay, but this Quizlet is fixing everything in life, and I'm really happy about it. Because this is going to make me actually able to take my freaking exam. <laughs> also, I'm sorry to wake back up. I think my food's starting to kick in. Because <laughs> I was, like, at a fall asleep earlier. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry that I'm itching my ears a lot. Number one, I have a mosquito bite on one. Um, Number two... When I'm having allergies, inside my ears gets itchy. I know that sounds really weird. Um. But. It just, it's just really frustrating. And that's kind of what's going on right now. It's no big deal. I'm on allergy medicine. I just, my allergies get a little worse towards around this time because like. My allergy medicine's not at its peak anymore. I take it at 9.30, and it's 8.50 right now. Um, so, you know. 
gets a little itchy. Weird info about me. No one needed. How are we doing on people? Okay. God, I really need to work on my social anxiety at my new job because it's bad. Like, I keep not answering the phone and having somebody else do it all because I'm scared to try to do the appointment in the computer even though I know how. But I feel like when I'm on the phone with somebody, I'm going to be under pressure and then forget how. Um, And like, <laughs> also when I'm talking to people... I need them to pose and stuff or like if I'm being watched while I'm practicing photos that like pressure of that I just can't do it and I feel like I look really dumb or I keep um keep making silly mistakes that I know like to not do like for example this was with a stuffed bear not an actual baby but um one of my coworkers was showing me how to do newborn photos, and she was like, do you want to do posing, or do you want to do the camera? And, not gonna lie, I was like, I don't really know how to do both, or do either of those things. Um, but, I can do posing, I guess. And she was like, okay. And then, like, I was expected to pose the, the bear, and the first pose I did, she was like, you can't do that. Because if it was a real baby, it would have fell off the pillow, and I freaking knew that. Like, I knew that. <laughs> but my brain was like, okay, because she had shown me a pose prior. And the pillow we were using, and the fact that we were using a bear and not a baby, that's the only pose you can do with that pillow. And so my brain was like, um, what else am I supposed to do? Not realizing she meant I can just keep doing poses, I can move stuff around, I didn't have to, I wasn't stuck with what was pre-set up. So it's like, I need more in-depth instructions, and I think there, some, the, she was realizing that, and then was working with me, um, but it's kind of, the, the training that we're doing because of how fast we need to get me trained, and able to take po photos because Christmas is coming up, and we get a lot of people starting, like, next week, um, they're just speed giving me the bare minimum so I can get in there. And so it's coming down to I really need to become a better um, like question asker so I can figure out how to ask the right questions to get the info I need instead of just hoping they're going to explain it to me like Ross. <laughs> Except I would ask questions at Ross and then they would be like, uh, good question, next question. Alex is calling. Hi. Oh, nerd. I'm still on stream, but I'm still gonna talk to you anyways. Hello, stream. The streamer you are watching is a nerd. You're such a dork. <laughs> um, my teacher still hasn't answered me about the extension, and I and and it's due tonight. <laughs> I would just send it then. Send it how so? Right. It. I don't even know what it's on. I still haven't taken the exam. I'm trying to do the study guide. Go, oh, dear. You are so far behind. Hey, uh, not on purpose. I worked. I went to sleep. I ate. I had bathroom issues. Tried to study. I got hungry again, so I ate again, and now I'm here. Great, good job. 
Now your entire stream knows that you poop! Oh, they already know. I take breaks in the middle of stream all the time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> They also already know that I'm... Well, no, they don't know that I'm on my period, but they did know that I was PMSing last week. Well, now they know now. I know they know now, but... Rip. Don't know the answer to that question. That's in a lecture. And they didn't know it either. I found a Quizlet that has the answers to my entire study guide, minus, like, a couple. So, it's been pretty magical. I just have two questions so far that I need to try to go into the lecture to try to find the answers to. So that's kind of lit. I need to write myself a to-do list because there are so many things that need to happen. Like, I need to register for my classes still. I have more training videos I need to do. One of those training events that I had to schedule and say that I was going to was during while I was studying and I had no idea. And so I missed it. <laughs> um, yeah, mistakes are being made left and right, babe. I have way too many responsibilities right now, and I didn't schedule them out like I normally do. And so I'm literally, like, unable to remember what's going on. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm better than this, and I'm really frustrated. <laughs> Also, I never got to read the one chapter for journalism. So we just winging it with the study guide. I mean, I have a really good grade in this class, so to be fair, I can bomb this exam and still have like a C plus to a B minus because of how much I've been doing in this class. And I have guaranteed answers to questions because I did the study guide, so like, I think I'll be fine. But my hope is he says yes to me doing the paper tomorrow, and then I do the paper and my statistics exam tomorrow. The statistics exam is open note as well, so. And then Saturday I need to write the psych paper. Or if I'm up to it, also write the psych paper tomorrow, but we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves here. Because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, they are now doing a 100% check tomorrow. They're doing a what tomorrow? A 100% check. Eric's check. What does that mean? That means that they're checking all of the rooms. Okay. So, now all your deep cleaning was not a waste of time? Yeah, I know, right? That's kind of good. I mean, it wasn't entirely a waste of time anyways. I mean, you live there, you should live in a clean space, but, you know. I mean, the space is clean, it's just not organized. However, I deep cleaned it. Yeah. So, like, I did a bunch of stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have done. Yeah. Not that it had any effect on that. Like, the stuff that I cleaned was more... Aesthetics? Yeah. And then you can also, like, cleaning the grout and stuff, like, the grout being dirty doesn't affect anything. Right. Other than the fact that the grout is dirty. Right. I mean, a lot of the cleaning that I do is for aesthetics, too, just because it bugs me. They're gonna, they're gonna come in here and be like, why do you have eight boxes of expired thin mints? And then you're going to be like, my girlfriend's mom just went ham and wanted to support this little rob. kid. And I'm going to be like, when you rob Girl Scouts, you just grab whatever you can. And you grabbed the best one. I just grabbed, you know what, I stole these. I didn't know they were expired until after the fact. <laughs> oh, for context, stream. Alex told my mom that he likes Thin Mints, and my mom was buying Girl Scout cookies from our neighbor's kid, 
because I also like Thin Mints. And my mom, being my mom, when she knows something that you like, she will buy you all of it. Um, evidence, when my sister told my mom that she likes Reese's Cups, my mom, every single holiday, got her the holiday Reese's Cups for literal years. <laughs> well, my mom found out that Alex likes Thin Mints, and so she bought him, like, Five whole boxes of Thin Mints. I only got to have two. No, actually, babe, I did steal one of your boxes. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Because I really was only allowed one, and then I took one. And of now yours. on stream, everybody knows that you're a thief. I am a thief. Also, babe, I accidentally showed what town and state I live in on stream because I accidentally opened the notification thing. So, I'm an idiot, and, like, I don't think anybody was actually on when I did that, though. I'm probably not gonna keep this stream up, but I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> I was like, oh my god, why is it showing this weird thing at the bottom? It normally shows the weather, but it showed something different. So I clicked on it, and then it just showed, like, clear as day what town, the small town, not the general one. Because you know how there's, like, the general town I live in that most of our mail says, and then there's the actual town I live in? Yeah. Yeah, it showed the actual town, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> alright. Wow. Aww. I'm still very upset that I'm a hole in my 16, 28, 28. That's- you have a what in your- what? A hole. In your what? In my- the hoodie with the giant orange lime on it. Uh-huh. Or not orange. Green. I don't know colors. Baby, you really make me think you're colorblind more and more every day. It's not so much colorblind as it is stupid. <laughs> Because, like, it's not like I can't tell that the, what, that the color is green. It's that, for some reason, other colors come out instead. It's like your brain just can't think of the word for it. I'm like, hey, that's green. And then out loud, I'm like, hey, purple. <laughs> You're color dyslexic, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although, also, I'm allowed to make that joke. I'm normal dyslexic. <laughs> it's okay. Not just stupid. What was I gonna say? Oh, babe. So, so at work today. Um, which, by the way, on stream, I haven't said the actual place I work. I just say that I work at a photography studio and I leave it there. Anyways, um. We have, like, one of the, like, the little tiny old TVs, you know, like, where, like, they have the static sound, and then they also make that stupid ringing sound when, like, it's, like, on video or something, but nothing's playing. What? Well, well, somebody turned it on on accident, because we don't use it anymore. Um, and... We didn't know, and so all freaking day, babe, we've been trying to figure out why our ears are ringing. Because mine were ringing... And then I told Caitlin that, and then she was like, wait, really? And I was like, yeah, why? And she's like, because mine have been ringing all freaking days. So then we were walking around the studio trying to figure out where it's at, and we just could not find it. And then I was sitting next to that TV while eating my lunch, and then realized it was on. And then I was like, oh my god. And so I turned it off, and then it stopped. <laughs> Except now my ears keep ringing anyways. <laughs> Because it was on for my almost my whole shift. You heard the noise? They recorded the noise all of these. It's yeah, that's how it works. It was horrible. It's my so cat's about to throw up on stream. Jade, get on the floor. Get on the floor. What? Jade's about to throw up. On stream. Oh yummy. Right. Hold on, babe.
could just swallow it again. Yeah, she's been. I can see when she does it. Also, sorry, kids. I didn't want you guys to hear that or see that. <laughs> Should have unplugged your mic. I did. Oh, nice. Also, that entire time that I was doing the study guide, my camera fell over and I didn't know. <laughs> oh no, I hit a button. What did I do? Oops. Where is the freaking... Go back to camera. There we go. Yeah, because I tilted it down because of how I was sitting, and then in moving it, it just over-moved it, and I didn't know that entire time. Anyways, kids, the whole study guide's done, minus two questions that I can't get the answers to unless I hop on the lectures. But I'm going to do that off of stream because it's my teacher talking, and I don't want you guys to know who my teacher is. So, yeah. And thank you all for studying with me. I'm gonna go take an exam and see if I fail. <laughs> Babe, ending a stream with you on the phone is so hard for me and I don't know why. You're a dork. <sighs> um, oh, I need to go on the ending stream slide first of all. I keep forgetting that I have it. Here's all the socials and things. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna try to stream... Um, I have, like, a practice statistics exam that I can do before taking the real exam. So I might stream when I do that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see y'all in the...